Here's how to turn prompts into production APIs. So I'll just go to steamship.com slash build slash prompt APIs. And then I'll download the api.py template file right here. This is a really small Python template that contains everything you need to define endpoints, run prompts or prompt chains, and deploy it up to a set of production endpoints on the web. So open it up in PyCharm. And this template looks just like a Flask app. It's our own framework, but essentially the same thing, but for AI endpoints. So up at the top, we define a class, which is our service. Here's a prompt that we're gonna run in this. And then we have an HTTP endpoint on the web. It takes some arguments. And these are gonna be interpolated up into the prompt up there with basic Python string interpolation. And then down at the bottom, you see we call in this case GPT-3, but Steamship supports all sorts of plugins for different LLM providers. Now let's look at what it takes to get this set up and running on our system. So first we're going to just pip install Steamship and then term color, term colors for the demo. We're gonna log in to Steamship with ship login so I've already logged in, so I chose not to do it there. And then we'll just run the main function that's at the bottom of this Python file. So there's the result. We get the completion of the prompt. Um, I'll just close out of the demo loop here, and let's actually just deploy this straight to the web. Uh, so again, we just keep following the instructions in this template. We're gonna echo uh, some dependencies into requirements.txt. So the Steamship bundler is going to need this to deploy a cloud package. So there's our requirements file and then we'll run ship deploy. Now this will set off a script which will ask us some questions. We choose that this is a package. Uh, I'll enter that this is a package called TED, complement giver test. We want this to be public. That's how we're gonna have a demo uh, UI on the web. We'll give it a description, testing out easy deployments of prompt APIs. And I'll put in my GitHub username. Now we wanna hit enter here and have this prompt API tag uh, that it's going to ask us for. That's how our web UI will know to generate us a nice little demo, which you don't need, but it's kind of cool for the, the video here. So right now, the Steamship Bundler is bundling up all of the Python dependencies. It's deploying this package as an API endpoint on the web. And now I have a URL that I can click on to go to this package listing on steamship.com. Here's a demo interface that's been generated from that function that we saw a couple seconds ago. Uh, we can type in a name, Oscar the Grouch, and a trait we'd like to compliment Oscar on, having a nice trash can. And we can run it, and we're gonna see back the output on the web here instead of in the console, and this is running in the cloud. So we have instructions if anybody wants to use this package, we can look at the different versions of the package. And you can create instances of this package, each one of which will get its own listing for all of the methods that we defined on the package. So that would be back here, this generate method here. And if we define more, we would see more showing up here. And then ways to invoke this method from the web, from Python, from TypeScript, from uh, curl, that you can use to access this from your app, wherever it may be. And this is just scratching the surface of what you can build. You can chain prompts, incorporate images, store vectors, search through them, save files, and then with a single command, push it up to a production grade auto-managed API. So go to steamship.com build, and we would love to see what you make.